Had there not been any COVID pandemic, local and international cyclists would have been riding in the 94th annual Holy Saturday Cross Country Cycling Classic. But instead, they'll be riding in the 92nd iteration of the big race, the two years lost to COVID being the longest interval without a race in the event's history. It has been a damper not only for cyclists, but Belizean and whole and fans in the US, you know, this is a, a major race. It's the longest running race in this part of the hemisphere. And so um, it's been running since 1928. And fans look forward to this Easter. I mean, without the cross country, their Easter is not their Easter, you understand? So the, it's definitely a welcome sign back that we are back on the highway. Everybody is excited, right? Um, this um, deep rooted in a, it's very cultural, um, the cross country. That's something very Belizean. Um, Kaya once may put it that, you know, we're more patriotic on the day of cross country than any other day, you know, in a September. Which I mean, a beautiful way to put it, right? All of the route for a Belizean, for come and bring home the garland, right? Like I say, I get chills just to think about cross country every year when you come around Easter. You know, most people think, oh, I'm going to go to the Keys and, and what's not, but... Um, Good Friday fish. Good, yeah, Good Friday fish, you know. But every time Easter come around, um, everybody we know they're doing this family and, you know, the cycling family, we look forward to cross country. 94 years ago on April 5th, 1928, 40 brave men with the backing of the colony of British Honduras set out on bikes like this Kirmer Arrow to prove that you could travel by road from Belize City to Cayo. Of course, in those days, it wasn't called a road. It was a trail. It took Elston Kurt 10 hours, 50 minutes, and 49 seconds to reach Cayo. And on Monday, April 9th, 1928, after a total time of 21 hours, 29 minutes, he was the first rider back in Billy City. Norris Wade was the second, and Bertie Cleland the third. Of the original 40 that started, 33 finished the journey. Since then, many stories have been written, some have been forgotten, but some names will remain forever etched in the history of the cross country. Names like Ashton Gill, Jeffrey O'Brien, Duncan Vernon, the Michael Brothers, Kenrick Holiday, Alpheus Williams, Alfred Parks, Charlie Lewis, Ernest Jarmine Main, Clinton Castillo, the youngest cross-country champion ever, and many others have become synonymous with the cross-country. On Saturday, new legends may form after about six hours of stalking glory and the garland on the George Price Highway. So, of course, you will only have one winner, but, I mean, you have to be a cyclist to understand the adrenaline rush you get. I mean, just to compete in such an event is so... I say it's a prestigious event that cyclists look forward to it. They, um, they are all out of hibernation, I would say, because they are so happy that they could hit the, the tarmac again and bring fireworks to the fans. I see our, our, our local boys are in very good condition. They have been having a lot of small races and they have been honing uh, um, their, their um, experience. They, are, they actually have been following a few races and they are doing excellent. So we should have a Belizean champion this year. Um, Taking note, though, that the teams ride as a family, as a team, and for cycling fans who don't know what they mean by riding as a team, you have to work for your leader. You have to put your egg in one basket and say, we will ride for such person, and, and we, will, we could get the victory come Holy Saturday. Reporting for 7 News, Daniel Ortiz.